The one and only Xalaphony here with week 7, the final qualifier week of Pokemon Fight Club's type tournament. Now, you guys know the first rule about Fight Club? Always talk about Fight Club in those comments below and to anyone you know. But we are going up against Bug type with Grass type this week. So, this is going to be hard. We have an inherent weakness since, naturally, Bug is good against Grass type. But I don't think it's going to be as bad as against Flying or Dragon. Because, uh, uh, hear me out, I got plans, I got schemes, I got all kinds of things that could happen. But let me just put the stakes out for you guys. I am 3-3 three and three in this tournament so far. And in a 7 battle, you know, qualifier thing, I need to get 4 wins to guarantee a spot in the finals. Uh, there's always a chance that if I lose, then I might still be able to make it through with a tiebreaker, but... Looking at how things are going, it's unlikely, so I gotta win against Bug if I even want to qualify... For the finals so whew, it's gonna be rough it's gonna be pretty rough but let's get right into the team because i think we got a team that can do it it's gonna be a very similar style to how we fought uh fire type in week one except this time we are uh, we're trying to cover a little more bases now i'm going for what could be seen as a more normal pokemon team this week i know it's weird for me right but we're going with you know we got multiple tanks multiple sweepers and support we have a little bit of everything we have a very standard type of team so let me get into it we have of course our physical septile this was the hardest choice for this week running a physical or special septile because special septile he can run with the uh you know hidden power fire as well as getting a focus blast to go up against bugs such as uh caesar and uh F ferrothorn um not ferrothorn the uh the, the fortress they're the same thing fortress so that would be okay well i guess fire would be what i would want to use against that but aside from the hidden power of fire, he wouldn't really be useful for much else. So I decided to go for the physical so I can get rock slide to just be generic coverage against the bug types. Uh, I got power up punch in case, you know, comes to a point where I can use that. And then aerial ace because aerial ace is going to be super important because two of the strongest Pokemon on David's bug team are Buzzwool and Mega Heracross, both fighting bug, both four times weak to flying type. So, we want to have that covered. Between fire and uh, flying, let's get the flying covered with our Sceptile, because, of course, we can also have other good moves. And we have Protect here. We could always switch that for something. I don't know. There's not really anything we're going to use besides Aerial Ace, most likely. But that's going to be uh, how we run our Sceptile. Next up is going to be Cradley. You've seen him come in here before. You saw him do well against the fire type. He's going to do the same thing against the bug type here. Because Rock Slide is going to be generically good against most of the bug types, except for those doublings as steel typings. And he's also not going to be the best against the fighting types. He's not going to be amazing, but he's going to be my special defense tank. So he'll be uh, going up against those things that are trying to get me with the uh, fire moves and everything. And he'll be able to stop those in their track and get some stealth rocks out. Stealth rocks will be super important. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to be expecting this or not and bring some sort of a defogger way to get rid of this. But I think if I get Stealth Rock out and keep it out, I'm going to win this battle. So that's why I'm running two Stealth Rockers, Cradley and Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn, of course, also running Stealth Rock. But this is going to be the first week where I think I can safely use Ferrothorn for what he's meant for. Tanking. I think bug types don't usually get fire moves. He wasn't able to get Volcarona. I hit my microphone. Sorry about that. But I think the uh, typing is going to be well. Because I don't see a lot of fire moves coming against me, so Ferrothorn should be able to actually tank. So I gave him leftovers just to see if he can survive. Leech Seed is actually going to be used. And then we decide to get a little freaky with it. We give him Hidden Power Fire because I'm assuming that there's going to be a matchup. Ferrothorn versus Fortress. Ferrothorn versus a Caesar. So Hidden Power Fire just to give him a chance against those things. But the real fun thing I went with is Rollout. Usually you don't see Rollout in competitive. But, considering I'm going to be tanking with him, with the Leech Seed Leftovers healing method, I don't have any other healing moves potentially, except for a potential, you know, Protect Stall, but we ain't doing that. We're going for Rollout, because this doubles with each hit. So, if I get three hits in with Rollout, I'm going to be doing significant rock damage to a bug team. Sure! I don't see Ferrothorn being a big damage dealer normally, but this is one way that he could actually make a big difference. Otherwise, I'd just be running knockoff or something that might not be a big deal so we're gonna go with that uh next up i'll get i guess i'll get to our support player here sarina now she is running a really weird build um i'm sure there's better ways to run this but this seemed like it would do the job 
I gave her health and speed with a little bit of defense. And she has a citrus berry. Now, the only thing I plan to use Sarina for is, well, I guess I have acrobatics on, so it's, there's damage possibilities there. Um, as you see, I got the flying coverage, I got the rock coverage, each with two uh, different Pokemon that can do it. But the main purpose is rapid spin. Uh, I did get a quick glimpse of his team, and I saw just some triple spike stealth rock action set up. I don't exactly want to deal with that. Of course, it doesn't completely counter my team by any means, but I also just don't want it. Because that's a lot of initial damage to deal with. So we are going to uh, go ahead and get that out of here. We're running a Citrus Berry so we can switch out into that and, you know, get our health right back if we're uh, hurt. Actually, it's, it's really not going to... It's not going to proc to that kind of stuff. All right, we'll just get leftovers like a normal person. Gosh. But, uh, yeah, then we have Aromatherapy in case we're status affected. And really, Acrobatics is uh, just going to be our main damage thing. Because we don't have a ton of other options for this. We have a synthesis, and just so we can try to get some health back. It's a weird way to run Serena, but uh, mainly just here for the rapid spin. Um, I could really do some other things. I could. No, I, I want the Citrus Berry. I want it just so acrobatics can actually be useful. Sorry, changing my mind. Making it happen. Next up, we have Roserade. Roserade is our fire attacker and our only fire attacker. Once again, on a grass team, at least this grass team, the only way to get fire moves is hidden power. Um, Ferrothorn, I'm not really going to count him. That's not even going to one-shot some of the fire Pokemon. I'm, I mean, some of the steel Pokemon I'm going to go up against. But Roserade with that Technician Choice Scarf in Power Fire. That's going to be a way to deal with that Caesar when it comes up. Uh, Caesar has to come against me. Otherwise, I have no idea. But yeah, Hidden Power Fire is going to be amazing right then. If not that, then Dazzling Gleam and Extra Sensory might do the trick. Uh, I should actually just throw a Poison. Nah, Bugs Resistant to Poison. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to have to just kind of rely on Hidden Power Fire. Hidden Power Fire is going to be good against, I think, all of the Pokemon anyway. Um, actually, no, there's a water thing on the team. Maybe I'll go with grass. I'm going to put a grass move on me. Uh, let's get rid of Extra Sensory because Hidden Power Fire is going to be good against the bug poison types that might come anyway. So let's go ahead and see what grass moves I can get. This is so strange. Uh, let's see, Giga Drain, ain't a bad idea, but, uh, Leaf Storm sounds fun. Yeah, let's go with Leaf Storm, because since we're Choice Scarfed, we're, uh, you know, suggested to switch out quickly anyway. So Leaf Storm will be used against any of the water bug types. Sure, I'm sure it's not super effective, I know, um, but I don't have any other options. So, we'll just go with that. It'll be a lot of damage, a lot of damage. Anyway, finally, we have Breloom. Breloom, I gotta bring after his, um, after his showing last week. We're just going to Hidden Power, I mean, I'm sorry, we're just going to Technician Rock Tomb here, because that's going to be a good amount of rock damage. Other than that, Mach Punch is going to try to do its thing. Maybe I could Swords Dance, but I don't want to put a Grass Pokemon out against Bug and rely on Swords Dance. So, plus I don't necessarily have the speed. I guess I'm not really going to be using Iron Tail, so we'll put Swords Dance on him. So, as you can see, I do a little Dragon and drop him before these... So you see some movesets from other teams. But that's going to be pretty much it. I think it's a good team. It's like a normal Pokemon team. But seeing as uh, we got a Ferrothorn and a Cradley to do some tanking, I think they might actually be able to do it. So wish me luck and let's go into the final qualifier week of Pokemon Fight Club. And week seven begins. Time to qualify. What's your win-loss ratio right now, man? Uh, let's see. Give me a minute. Uh, I'll just well, need to turn my volume down. Yep, yep, yep. Reason, he's really loud. Nice. Yeah, mine's three and three right now, so I kind of gotta beat you. No hard feelings. Oh, uh, by all means, go crazy. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty sure okay. I'm two. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you I'm win here, sure. you and me might go up against each other again in like a tiebreaker. Ooh. Uh, Spooky. All right. So how do we start against these bugs? Uh, you brought. A kind of simple. Yeah, it brought close enough to what I was expecting, I guess. Uh, let's see what we can start off with. I think this will be the move. Indeed. Hey, twinsies! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I'm gonna oh. go for this first. Oh. You can switch out if you'd like. Uh, not right yet. Sure, go for it. And. Did that. Ah, you got the rapid spin. Nice. I got that. Nice. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
What's it gonna be? Ah, ah cheeky. I know, right? Well, I guess you're gonna rapid spin again, so. Pretty much. Yep, this should kill you, right? I think so. Yeah. Ooh. All right, but you got your setups out here. Was that yes, only one toxic spikes, though? Yeah. Okay. So it only Let's poison me. See. What's it gonna be? Caesar, eh? All right, you got a fighting move planned for me or something? Mm, oh, man. No. You know what? I just want to get those stealth rocks back out there. Hidden power fire on a Caesar? Sir, yes, sir. Interesting. Okay. Well, no. uh, I'm going to get Sarina out here. Dang. Let's go for the. Ooh. I got my own rapid spin. Bug Buzz, smart. Yeah, I got a berry. God damn it. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead with. Uh, yeah, honestly, we're just gonna die here, so that's all cool. Oh! Wow. Twinsies! Hey! <laughs> Alright, now you're in for it. Uh, what can I actually do? Uh, uh, let's see, you got bug. Poison resists bug. Yeah. Oh, cool. And I have fire, by the way. Ah, you're. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need the crit, but that was a nice touch. Damn it! Alright, now you got electric out here. Just gonna go for fire again. Yeah, no. Alright, I think I'm good now. I, that was that was my two worries. Your steel types were the worries, because this is my only counter to the steel types. And mm. the setup was a worry. So, ooh, Buzzwell is going to get himself swole, though. And Ferrothorn was one of my best Buzzwell counters. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just go for it. Ice punch, yeah, I figure. So you're going to get a little swole here. Yeah, you're probably gonna outspeed me anyway, so. Uh, let's see. Septile? I mean, probably. I mean, yeah, you definitely will outspeed yeah. me. Yeah. Come out to him. Yeah, and Septile's got some stuff. And seeing as your last three Pokemon are weak against flying, and I have a flying move, that should be nice. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I just gotta go for the. 72 speed. Let's just be safe there. Yeah. Oh my god. It, it went up, by the way, when I Mega evolved. 427. Right. Yep. And let's go for a rock slide. Boom. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Right. Why not? <laughs> and once again, another bug fighting type. So, flying move. And that'll be that. Oh, tanky, dude! Uh, it's not gonna finish me. It's not gonna finish me. Watch. So close, though. So close. One <laughs> percent. <laughs> no. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I got two more Pokemon after that, but that's a great way to oh, 1%. That was epic. That is epic. Uh, was, no. Good job, Sceptile. You barely lived. 1%. Oh, I love how your like percentages went up. It was like 19.5, 20.2, 20.9. That's it. That's it. That's all you had. That's all you had in you. That's all you had. Uh, that was good. So if you would like to, just so we... Uh, can, like give people a little something extra if you want to battle again see if you can fight me off now that you see what i'm planning here i'm down because you know my only fire guy now so straight go for it yeah just for the fun of it sure i mean obviously i got the win so <laughs> i guess i'm moving on to the finals Ooh, i get to fight flying type in the finals <laughs> <laughs> I I have to get like just luckily don't go against the right people if I want to win this thing, but mm. I, I don't know if it's gonna happen. We'll see. Uh yeah, so let's see. Let's go for let's go for this. Hey, oh. I can live with this. Um, psh, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. Oh my god. <laughs> I have hidden power and a technician, so it's a 90 base power fire move. And you have four times weakness, so. This is gonna be a little interesting. I'm gonna try this out. Oh, Jagbag. Oh, well. Oh, you maybe missed. That, nice one. That helps. Oh, that would have hurt you so much, because you take damage off of every time you hit me. Yep. Uh, knock off smart, get those leftovers off me. I'm gonna get the stealth rocks out. You can obviously take care of them soon, and your guy's not gonna take a ton of damage to it. I wanna try this out. Megahorn. Ooh, that damage. 
Yeah, it's fierce. Ooh. Yeah, this isn't gonna do much, but I was gonna spam rollout because oh, that'll be fun. Whoa, no. Hey, it'll double. Oh, oh you missed. Miss. <laughs> yep, you got me. Uh, I am Bob's as well. I hate that thing. Yep. All right, so Heracross out here. Um, my fire Pokemon still available. That won't necessarily kill you though, so I want to go for flying. Uh, huh. mm. if you're gonna be using Mega Horn, you're gonna one shot basically everything I have. So I guess we're just gonna have to drop the Sceptile right away. Cause Heracross is like insane attack, right? Mm-hmm. So we're, we're gonna hit oh. you here. Will it kill you? Yeah. Yeah, it will. No, no, no. Yeah, but at the same time, you tanked my flying move before, so. I think yeah, it, but that was that was fresh off the start though. Yeah, yeah I think it does like around 50 to 60 percent damage. So, all right, now against Fortress, I don't know what kind of uh, options I got. Obviously, I am gonna switch to Sarina and Rapid Spin this away later. But let me try this out. I'm gonna pow. Oh no, <laughs> that's Rocky Ooh. Helmet. Nice. Yeah, that Rocky Helmet's gonna stop this play from happening. Um, so we're gonna try <laughs> this play. You're gonna get your spikes out and everything. But I'm gonna Swords mm -hmm. Dance. Cool. Cool. I'm wondering what you got against me. Because Swords Dance is gonna do some nice things. Rapid Spin. Yeah, sure. Get your rocks out of there. And now you're gonna probably switch, but I'm gonna max out my Swords Dance. Oh, you're gonna max it out. Damn it! Haha! <laughs> Damn and, it! And uh, now. Uh, yeah, I'm screwed. Yeah, let's try Drain Punch. Nice. Yeah, let's let's try drain punch. <laughs> All right. Uh, Still took damage from your rocket helmet though. So. That's nasty. Now against the scolop, ah, I got rock tomb. That'll do it. Oh, choice scarf, nice. I should know you're just, just faster. Uber, oh Uber, yeah, I should have mock punched. Speedy. I forgot what kind of my build was. Um, so it's Arena. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to get this setup out of here this turn. So, your Megahorn's gonna do- Ah, you're faster though, too. Yikes. I don't think I'll live. Oh my god, I'm built as a tank on that thing and I didn't live. Huh, how do I outspeed that thing? Let's see, you don't have speed boost, so that's good. No, sir. You- Oh, you're physical attacking. Yeah, I just gotta outspeed you. Except, uh... But- Oh, man, it hurts. I guess it doesn't hurt that much because I'm just grass types, but... And rock slide to make sure I get the kill. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. Luckily, I got the right offensive moves to take care of most of your team. Really, the steel types are the only thing that I only have like weak counters against. Mm. But Roserade can handle those. And yeah, now you're stuck with the. Um, I think um your Galvantula might have been the better call here because. Oh yeah, you tank things. Forgot that part. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Don't let me tell you anything. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Uh Gucci, huh. Gucci. Yeah, Roserade has to come out now. Oh, However, nice. I will outspeed you. Let's see. Bug fighting. What's gonna do more? Fairy or fire? Uh fire's gonna do enough. Fire. So yeah, just I think is fighting weak yeah. against fairy? Yeah, okay, it's gonna be enough to beat you. And then Galvancho, I think the same thing happened last time, so a lot closer this time. You just but, one shot me. <laughs> yeah, Roserade's, Roserade's pretty good. Okay. Against the right Special. targets. Yeah. Yep. So, guys, that's going to be, uh, I guess, uh, the end of, uh, well, probably the end of Fight Club for you. Yes, it is. All right. It's been, and it's that's going to be the end. Yeah. I mean, bug type, it's not the best, but I certainly like bugs. So, you should know. Have stuck with rock. I should have stuck with rock. Maybe. Yeah, rock types are pretty good. I think I prefer bug a little bit over rock, but in this type of thing, maybe bugs are weak because, you know, there's a lot of counters to them. But thank you guys for watching. Of course, get a pinky on that like button if you have enjoyed. Check out our other videos over on the Pinky Squad channel. And, of course, our main channels, all our Minecraft stuff as well. And I guess we will see you guys next time.